Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdom video. My name is Legend Ronnie and today I'm going to talk about three things in this video. Number one is going to be the Legend of Re Tavern, which I'm also going to play it. As you already see in the background, I have 160 keys. I want to reach 200 because I want to unlock Zenobia. Not that I want to max her, I just want to unlock Zenobia. The second thing I'm going to talk about is the new Esmeralda. And the third thing I'm going to talk about is the refinement system that they plan to introduce in the future, which they said that it is still in discussion, so probably it's not going to happen. But if it's going to happen, I have some ideas about the refinement system. Since I already talked with some of my members which played similar games and they're saying that the equipment system is almost identical with those games. So they have a pretty big idea how the refinement system is going to be in Rise of Kingdoms. But first thing first, let's go with the Legendary Tavern. Let's open a couple of keys and let's see what we can get from the Legendary Tavern. I plan to do the 200 keys opening. I have already opened 21 keys. You get a free key per day. Now my recommendation about the Legendary Tavern. As you notice, once you get 200 keys opening, you will be able to click on this chest and you will be able to select 10 sculptures of the commanders available from this list. Now my recommendation is to go for commanders that are in the Mightiest Governor. Why is that? Because those are usually the commanders that are harder to obtain. So most likely people will go for Zenobia, people will go for Nebuchadnezzar, maybe even Artemisia, maybe even Chandra Gupta because... To spend calves in rallies right now in the season of conquest is still Xiangyu and Chandra Gupta. Maybe the next future calves will be the next best thing. Who knows? But I'm just saying what is good right now. The wheel commanders are very easy to obtain by just spending a couple of gems into the wheel. But it is the mightiest governor commanders that are best to be unlocked from the legendary tavern. Now, obtaining 200 of these keys is not really cheap. You can get some from the VIP shop, which is exactly how I got some of mine. Or you could buy the bundle. But if you're a free-to-play low spender, it's going to be very hard for you to buy the bundles. Which is available over here, the Legendary Warrior. I don't find it very interesting because I'm not interested in stars at all or experience on my commander. So it's really a bad value for me and probably for many other players if it would have give speed ups that would have been another story but this bundle is really good for new players so new players that are rich in season of conquest they need as many stars as they can experience goal heads everything and this is where this event is also really good for those type of players to try to get as many sculptures as possible so they can catch up with the commanders. There is also the shop where you can get this type of coins, which I believe they have a name. If the legendary tavern event, you earn a legendary commander or their sculpture whose expertise you've already unlocked, it will be automatic exchange for legendary marks. Unused legendary marks will be saved for use on the next instance of this event. I already have 750 by just using the free keys. So basically, I could get seven sculptures, seven universal sculptures. And I've probably seen this as many other YouTubers that they are keep buying the sovereign keys. That is a good thing. If you still need keys to reach the 200 marks or you plan to do another 200 mark, that would be the only way why I would keep going and buying the sovereign keys. If you only plan to do the 200 mark and unlock your desired commander, then I would strongly recommend to go for the universal sculptures because those are universal sculptures. You can use them on any commander that you desire or the commanders that you really want to upgrade. That's going to be my plan as well. I want to make sure that these 40 sculptures i will be able to get them because these are really good value by just using 200 keys and how i got my 200 keys i bought them from the vip shop because i was mentioning i didn't bought any bundles the bundles is not really good value three weeks in a row i bought the sovereign keys which brings me to 120 keys and the rest of the keys that i have right now in the legendary tavern 
are from various other events, and I think seven of them were from the previous KVK and from the Crusader rewards and something like that. So that's how I got all the 40 keys. For whales, mega whales and really high spender, this is a really good event because for them any kind of sculptures is helpful because they go for almost all commanders or having all commanders, so they definitely need as many things as possible. Now, less words and more action. Let's get into it and let's start opening because I really hope to get some good things. I just want to unlock the Nobel because it's the only one from that list that I don't have. So let's go the first 10 pool and what do we get? 200 of those marks. So that's definitely nice. But again, I don't need experience. I don't need stars. Still 200 marks. That's really good. That's two universal sculptures. Now, if you have to buy 10 keys, that's 10,000 gems. So there you have it the value is not so great but plenty of other things i can buy from the shop so as many marks as i get i'm gonna go for speed ups too if i get too many marks so let's go ahead let's do another 10 pull and i got another 150 marks and there you have it this is one of the reasons why i advise going for the universal sculpture is because you can get commanders that you don't want to work on so for example cyrus is one commander i don't work on and probably i will never work on him and i'm getting sculptures of him it's not really helpful. The marks are okay. Special stars, that's really nice. Some gold and all that. I saw speed ups in this reward list. Where are the speed ups? I'm keep getting stars and experience. Yeah, it looks like the chances are very low for those speed ups. Hmm? Even for the big resources, it's still very low. Anyway. Let's keep on going. I need to do 200. So it doesn't matter how it's going to happen. Let's go 10 more and hit me with a 10. No, no. As many 10s I could get, the better. And this was a nice pull, yo. 5 million food, 5 million wood, 1 million stone, 600,000 gold. Those are nice cards. I like those big cards. 150 marks and Leonidas. Again, not something I really want to work on. But hey, I got him, so... Another 200 marks, that's really good. Finally, some speed ups. I like that. And Leonidas. This was a decent pull as well. I'm not gonna lie. You can also go one by one and hope for more 10 pulls. Like trying your luck and just going one, 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 one. And you never know, you might get some 10 pulls. What is a 10 pull? And what I'm referring to a 10 pull is when you get 10 sculptures. There is a chance also that you can get on the legendary tavern you can get 10 sculptures of a commander and speaking of 10 sculptures we get genghis khan and because i have a max skill that is 500 marks yep nebuchadnezzar that's really great one sculpture of nebuchadnezzar whoa those stars are the really good ones the high experience ones those are nice leonidas yeah this was a really good 10 pull 50 550 marks i want more of that <laughs> give me some more <laughs> come on no no i got another nebuchadnezzar that's really good healing speed ups i definitely need that and 150 marks we still got plenty of pulls to go now let's open 10 more of the give me a 10 pull oh i got a zenobia so i can probably get a 10 pull zenobia then i can choose 10 sculptures for another commander like Nebuchadnezzar. You see, look, another two sculptures of Cyrus. Come on, yo. Don't ruin my day. Still a lot of sculptures, though. Let's go ahead. Let's do another 10 pull and hit me with a 10. Another sculpture for Zenobia. Okay. I'm okay with that, but I wish I would get a 10 pull on Zenobia. That would be amazing. Ritter of History and all that sort of things. Hmm sounds really juicy alexander 200 marks that's pretty good again a bunch of stars speed ups let's see 10 more i smell a 10 pull this time at least yes but no no because <laughs> i have him unlocked it's not max skill and i'm just getting 10 sculptures of yss i'm not really working on him damn it i got one harald and tomirus as happy as I was, a 10 pool, I was like, yes, yes, that was it, that was the one. I have him. Alright, this is what, it was a 10 pool, yo, so I cannot... 
complain about it. So there is room for Zenobia. So I can get Zenobia, which means that I could use my 200 for something else. That would be amazing if I'll get a 10 pool Zenobia. Let's see. Will that be possible on the next 10 opening? Nah. Legendary Tavern is rigged. <laughs> 150 more marks. I don't even want to know how, mar how many marks I have because I really want the 4,000 marks so I can get my sculptures. Another 150 marks and Theodora. I am working on Theodora. I'm okay with that sculpture for Theodora. Yo, this is so addicting opening this legendary tavern. I'm not gonna lie. Another hundred. Oh, three Zenobias already. Yo, this is killing me. But if I'm not going to get her, by the time I reach the 200 mark, I'm going to have to get her. Because I'm not going to spend speed ups on the Mighty as Governor just to unlock her. So I better unlock her from here. But that's almost a day of speed ups and 150 marks. That works for me. Uh, last 10 pull. I will need one more key. Ah, 150 marks. No 10 pull. Alright, let's go and look on the shop. What do we have? I don't even have 4,000 marks. But I am going to buy one key. Okay, so let's open 10. It's so easy when you open 10 and not one by one, another 150 marks. So that was definitely worth it to buy that key and a Cyrus. So I need 19 more keys, but I'm just going to buy 20 more keys. Let's go ahead in the VIP shop, buy the 20 more keys that we need. I'm also going to get more free ones for the remaining of the day. So I could have probably get Zenobia anyway by the end without buying these 20 keys but i'm just trying my luck hopefully i'm gonna get a 10 pull and i'm also doing the video so i need to do the 200 <laughs> and get zenobia so let's go let's 20 more no 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 10 pull that's so bad so let's go ahead at least it's 250 marks that's a pretty big large amount of marks so let's see how is the shop looking look 3810 so i can only get 38 of the sculptures which i'm definitely gonna get so i need 200 marks probably in those 22 days remaining and with the free ones i'll be able to get the remaining sculptures so that's gonna be fine and i'll be able to get this too i was really hoping to get a little bit more because you just need like 900 marks and you can get 300 hours of speed ups and another 800 marks and that's another 300 so that's 600 hours of speed ups that's pretty big for 1700 marks that's really good but to get another 200 keys i'm not sure if the gem is gonna worth it because basically what i'm getting right now is zenobia and that's just 10 sculptures of her i'm gonna press confirm I cannot choose seven because I think I basically only needed like seven. And if I go on my commanders, I can summon Zenobia and get the Ritter of History out of the way, which is another 10 sculptures. And that's really good. Wow. And I can upgrade YSS. Well, I guess I'm going to go for a skill. Now let's talk a little bit about Esmeralda because as you notice, I have done 27 spins. I was planning to do a little bit more spins. What I usually do on Esmeralda... I go for the 100 mark, but that's because I always buy packs and have gems and all that sort of things. Now I'm going to give you my best recommendation about Esmeralda. If you're a medium high spender and you're always buying stuff and you have gems and you need materials, then you definitely want to go for Esmeralda. I had really bad pulls on, a, on Esmeralda lately. That was just me, but now, since they introduced the VIP 18 shop, I kind of thought a little bit about it and I'm buying this every week. So you probably see behind me is the training speed ups. You have 20 pieces and you have the legendary materials choices. This is an extra 12,000 plus 12,000, 24,000 gems each week. So I would prefer to go guarantee for speed ups and guarantee for materials rather than trying my chances on Esmeralda whenever she's coming around every month, every month and something. This is 100% value for my gems that I'm getting from the VIP shop. So I prefer to go with this each month. The amount of gems that I spend on the VIP shop each month before VIP 18 was 28,000 gems. Getting the 24 hour speed ups or it's probably 29, but last time I done the math was 28. The 24 hour speed ups, the epic materials, the 8 hour speed ups, and the blue materials. 
now i'm also getting the 24 hour speed ups the training ones and the legendary material which is going up by 24,000 gems and that's going to bring me to about 52,000 gems a week that's 200,000 gems a month that's a lot of gems so going for an event like esmeralda it's really not on my to-do list because like i said on this current esmeralda i've done two five pulls when all i got was some epic blueprints which i don't need who needs epic blueprints at this point when you're spending so many gems into the game new players or in new newer kingdoms i'm 100 percent sure they probably still need the epics but i have in hundreds probably they're gonna go soon in thousands so i'm losing a lot of value playing esmeralda for myself even though at the marks you get guarantee materials but i've done two five pulls where i got zero materials and I got some building and resource speed up. So that's 7,200 gems that just went down the shizzle. When I could have just get like three legendary materials from the VIP shop. So where is my value for my gems? My recommendation is that if you're not VIP 18 and you're really close to VIP 18, you might want to save your gems or probably spend on the VIP. If you're buying bundles, then you definitely don't spend your gems on the vip because you get the vip from the bundles that's the best way how you can upgrade vip but if you're not buying bundles maybe just go for the vip 18 and then you have unlocked in the vip shop you have unlocked the materials and then just buy the materials each week because it's just better value if you do that in a month you get 20 guarantee legendaries and you spend 48,000 gems now, if you want to do a full spin for an Esmeralda, that's 72,000 gems, but I don't think there is any guarantee you get 20 legendaries. How many materials you get just by spinning this? It's uh, 5 epic, 8 epic, which is 2 legendary, 3 legendary, 5 legendary, 8 legendary. So this is the guarantee legendary materials that you can get from 100 spin. If you want to try your luck for 72,000 gems and get the difference, while you can just spend like 48,000 gems and you get guaranteed 20. That's just my tinkering, a little bit of tinkering that I have done so far. And for the purpose of the video, I'm obviously gonna spin a little bit on the Esmeralda. Because I'm close to 40, so I'm definitely gonna get the 40 mark since I'm already there. Let's go ahead and let's do the free one. Let's see what I get resources i still have the 400 one that's really good that was really good value the free one and the half price one now let's go and do a full gem one and i got resources as well that's definitely not a good value and now i need to do two fives let's see how is the value look at that no materials exactly like i was telling you so before this video, when I was doing the 27, I had two pulls like that. Two of them. No materials, just speed up, some resources, some blueprints, and stuff that, you know, you don't need. But for the purpose of the video, let's do another five. And again, <laughs> no materials. So I spent 14,400 gems and didn't get a single piece of material. That's why it is better to spend your gems in the VIP shop. I'm never going to go for Esmeralda again. The best event for materials still remains the Holy Knight Treasure. If you want to go for that, definitely. If you're a really high spender and you need any kind of bits and pieces of materials, then definitely go for Esmeralda as well. Now, regarding the refinement system, I'm not going to go through all this because you have the email so you can uh, read yourself. So they are just changing or they are planning to change in the future. As they are saying somewhere over here that is still in discussion so this might happen or might not happen obviously if it's gonna happen we're gonna know through a series of updates and uh, pretty much it's gonna happen so two players from my alliance Yohar and Payade they both told me about the refinement system and how it is in some of the other games and they are saying that is kind of 99% looking exactly like the rock forging system and the refinement system on other games, the way it works is you have, for example, three hope cloaks that didn't go with a special talent. So you can use those three hope cloaks and you refine them into one hope cloak with special talent. Now, if that's going to be the same in rock, it's really bad value. If you could do only two, 
for one, maybe that would work it. Because, for example, you have, let's say, the coin, right? So if you refine three coins, which is like 360 worth of legendary materials, which is huge, just to get a 30% extra stat on uh, one of the coins, that's pretty bad. And you're losing the material from the other coins. Again, that's that's a really bad value. I'm not sure if the refinement system is going to be like that. But this is how it is in some of the other games. I just want to put it out there just so you can have some ideas how the refinement system works. And maybe if you want to do forging before the refinement system is going to be implemented, probably it's going to be the best. I'm really thinking about my options. I'm also thinking to keep the chest because they mentioned somewhere over here that if this is going to go through, then they plan to change some of the chest, the rewards from the chest, the materials and whatever they give. I'm also thinking to keep any kind of chest and material related chest and so on. If they're going to just change them, then I'm obviously going to get some rewards. And that's going to be my thoughts about just saving everything. But in the same time, I'm also thinking to maybe just forge as much as possible before this refinement system. Because it says over here, if this is going to go through, the forging probabilities for special talents can be viewed in game. And many governors have noticed the mechanic. The mechanism where the one item of equipment must produce a special talent in five forging but we feel the system isn't clear enough or well, it's very clear for many governors and so we would like to introduce a new refinement system final terms yet to be determined in the next optimization this system allows governor to refine special talents into equipment without repeated forgings of course the original forging mechanism can still produce special talents so this is where i'm saying that i'm probably just gonna go ahead and, and forge everything i can and try to get special talents now because you never know what kind of a small chance it might be after this refined system is going to be introduced if it's going to be the way i said it's going to be using three non-special items to refine into one special items of the same quality but with the special talent obviously not sure i'm really happy with that value anyways that's just my thoughts uh, that I got from those two players which played some other games for like six years that uh, had an identical forging mechanism as Rise of Kingdoms. Until next time, this is your boy Gerani signing off. Peace out, tell and take care. See you on the next one and stay safe out there, my friends.